I am so it's probably gonna be beneficial that we burn some of those calories uh, and that's why I said boom light bulb 4th of July special edition workout it's gonna be short and sweet uh, so don't turn the video off it's just seven minutes of your time that's it seven minutes why did I pick seven minutes oh maybe because it's the seventh month of the year and we're only gonna work for exercises oh why did he pick four exercises oh maybe because it's the fourth day of the month <laughs> July 4th that's why it's the special delivery Delicious? Yes, this workout is going to be delicious. <laughs> it's going to be a special edition, 4th of July, delicious workout. Um, let me run over how, run over? I don't know. I'm a mess right now because I'm hungry. Let me go over uh, what I want you to do. All right, so the first exercise that we're going to start with is a push-up variation. I am going to have a bunch of different options for you depending on where you're at with your fitness level. The first option is just a regular push-up where we're going to start with the hands um, under your shoulders. Uh, your hips are in, your abs are going to be tight. Uh, you're going to have those hands just wider, just barely wider uh, than those shoulders. So we look right here, right? Right here. Hips are in, abs are tight, we're breathing. What I want you to do is inhale on the way down as you lower your chest towards the ground and then exhale as you push yourself back up. So this is our standard push-up right here. If we want to step it up a level, make it a little bit more challenging, we can do it by adding a, a jack in the middle of that push-up, a push-up jack. So you can set yourself up the same way. Now, feet together. This time, as you lower yourself down towards the floor, you're going to hop your feet out like a jumping jack. So you're going to hop out and come down, and you're going to push up and together. So we're here and here. Hips are in, abs are tight. Um, we can even modify that. Or, um, provide another option instead of jumping you can step the foot out so another option here would be to step one foot out as you come down back together step the other foot out back together there or again you could work a regular push-up and then the final option that you can have is to modify and drop down to your knees and work your push-up this way the main thing is I need your hips in and your abs tight I don't want your booties up in the air okay so that's our push-up uh, the second exercise, I think I'm going to have my cameraman stand up with me here. Second exercise, we're going to do a burpee. Um, but it's going to be more of a controlled burpee. I want to focus um, on getting the squat right. I want to, um, and getting up and down in a controlled manner. We're going to have our feet uh, about shoulder width apart, maybe a little wider. And I'm going to profile it here. What I want you to do is I want you to get down in your squat, right? Weight in the heels of your feet. Head and chest up. Yeah, as we get down into this position, and you get to people are having a good time already at the park. If you can hear them in the background, but we're gonna get the uh, uh, hips back, come down to our squat. You're gonna hop the feet out into that push-up position we were just in. You're gonna hop the feet forward, and we're gonna stand all the way up right here. Okay, so all the way up, nice and tall, squeezing your backside on the way up. If you're not jumping, I do have a couple other options for you. We could always squat back, step the feet back, step the feet forward, and stand up nice and tall. Or we can come down, bring one foot back, come up nice and tall, come down, bring the other foot back, come up nice and tall. Okay? The third exercise that we're going to do, we're going to do a reverse lunge. We're going to add a front kick to it. So, nice and tall, feet about hip width apart, head and chest up. You're gonna step back onto your toe. You're gonna to lower that back knee down so we get a 90 degree angle in this front knee, a 90 degree angle in that back knee. And then as we stand up tall, I want you to kick your foot up and then alternate here. Kick, here, and kick, right? Uh, if we're watching the knees, what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch the range of motion. Maybe we're not gonna get down as low. Maybe we're gonna go here and kick, here, and kick. Another thing we can do 
is do it from a squat position. Feet about hip, shoulder width apart, down and squat, and kick here, here, and here. So again, we have some options. And then the fourth exercise that we're gonna do, we gotta finish with the bang. We're gonna get um, our star jumps in. It's the 4th of July. You know, we're gonna celebrate. Feet about hip width apart, head and chest up. As we squat down, we're gonna hop real big and right back down into that squat here. Okay, so here to here, a few options. We can hop out like a jumping jack and back in. We can come up and extend the leg and back in. Or we can just work a narrow squat, keeping those feet about hip width apart, okay? So those are our four exercises. We got a push up, burpee, reverse lunge with the front kick, and our star jump. All right, so I showed you the four exercises. Uh, this is how we're gonna put it all together. I hope I make sense. Um, so we got our four exercises. I want you to put three minutes on the clock, okay? So find a stopwatch, use your phone, whatever. Use the microwave, whatever you gotta use. Three minutes on the clock. We're gonna start with seven repetitions each exercise. We're gonna go seven push-ups, uh, seven burpees, seven lunges with that front kick, and seven star jumps. As soon as you get through seven each, I want you to go back to those push-ups, do six each. Go back to do five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna ladder down um, through each exercise, every round, okay? If you happen to finish uh, before the three minutes is up, I want you to hold a plank for the remainder of the round, okay? So if there's still 45 seconds left and you've gone through, you're a speed racer, and you've gone through all seven rounds, you need to go to the floor and hold this plank. Um, follow me to the floor here where your elbows are gonna be under your shoulders, uh, your, your forearms are gonna be parallel, your hips are in, and abs are tight. And we're just gonna hold this until that three minutes is up, okay? Once our three minutes is up, you're gonna take a one minute break uh, to get some water, catch your breath, and get ready for a second round. You are gonna set your clock for three minutes again. This time, we're gonna make some adjustments, okay? If you got through seven rounds pretty easy and you had a whole bunch of time to hold plank, what I want you to do is maybe instead of start at seven, maybe this time start at eight repetitions each, or hell, start at nine repetitions each if you really got done quickly um, the first time. However, if um, you didn't get through all seven rounds the first time, maybe you wanna start this time at six repetitions each, or maybe even five repetitions each. It's really just gonna depend on what your fitness level is. The main thing is, I don't want you to speed through it. I want you to do it with proper form and technique, okay? If, if speeding through it means you're gonna get sloppy with your form and technique, slow down, okay? I don't want you to hurt yourself. It's not worth it, trust me. So again, we'll do one round, three minutes. Start with seven each, work your way down to one each. If you have time left over, hold plank. Second round, adjust. If you're feeling frisky and you want to do a third round, uh, we could do a third round. You'll take another one minute break after that second round. Uh, we're going to set that clock for three minutes again. However, we're going to flip it. Instead of um, starting with seven or eight, I want you to start with one each. And I just want you to ladder up. Just keep adding one rep, one rep, one rep until that three minutes is up. You know, you just go until you can't go anymore until that clock hits zeros, okay? Um, I think that's it. I hope I didn't confuse you. I hope it makes sense, but if not, Feel free to contact me at any time uh, regarding this workout or anything health and fitness related. I can be reached at rich at healthyfitbootcamp.com. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July. If it's not the 4th of July when you're watching this, I hope you have a wonderful insert today's date here. Peace.